Hey Best Fiends fans, I am from the YouTube channel Insomniac Extreme, and today we're gonna be doing a transformation makeup into the cutie that is Faye Pop. This look is extra magical, so to get started, as always, I block down my brows with a washable glue stick to protect them. And then I use a white cream pencil to sketch out the design of Faye Pop on top of my own features to hopefully make the illusion work in the end. I like this because it's easy to kind of remove some of the eye pencil if needed and move features around as well as it doesn't really interfere with the paint later on. The sketch also isn't set in stone, and you'll see later that some features do end up getting kind of moved, but it's always nice to have as a guide. Once the sketch is down and you're happy with it, it is time to move on to blocking out the paint colors. And for this, I use a water-activated body paint that is safe for the skin. And I tend to just go through and block out the big sections, like the yellow dress, the yellow features, as well as her skin tone, which is kind of a periwinkle blue-purple. So I started with a light blue base, and then I can move into the shading to make it more of that multi-tonal color later on. I wanted to get the dress and body done first, so to help highlight the yellow a little bit more and shade it, I used an orange eyeshadow, and then I used a little bit of a brown eyeshadow to create the shading that exists between the layers of the skirts. And then finally, for areas that I wanted to be a brighter yellow, I just took a white eyeshadow and blended that on top for a really soft highlight. Then to repeat a similar process on the legs and arms, and to get a little bit closer to that periwinkle color, I started using a bit of a purple eyeshadow and shading with that, and then I followed it with a darker blue to give a little bit more depth and dimension to the edges of the arms and legs. And at the very end, I did follow with a little bit of the white shadow again, just to highlight. The wings I did just base out with a lavender color and I did move them slightly so that I can make them a bit longer along my shoulders. Of course we gotta repeat those steps on the face with some of the purple and blue shading and then I moved on to basing out the mouth since it's been left kind of blank. And for this I just laid out where the teeth go and then filled in the rest with red. And then she does actually have some more details within the mouth for like her tongue so I just went ahead and used a darker red and some black eyeshadow to better define that. For the eyes, I had based them out with a little bit of yellow. That's because they have kind of a nice gold shine in them, but they actually primarily are black. So I outlined them with a black body paint and also added in the little lashes that she has. And then I was able to fill in a thicker section along the top and the lashes. And then I used a black eyeshadow to shade down into the yellow. So you'd have a little bit of that shine in there. Then of course, some of the last few details to base out are the hair and some of the little tendrils she has coming off of her face. And for this, I went ahead and used kind of a mix of teal and blue along the hair to give a bit more dimension. And I based out what I'm going to call like the little like coral pieces that are coming off in yellow and shaded them with orange. And then I also made some extra ones to attach with the ears. And like magic, they're there. And then further magic, we black out everything around Fae Pop. And then of course, one of the most important steps, we need to outline everything else with a black liner. This is again, just a black body paint, but the lining process really helps everything stand out, be legible and appear far more graphic. The black outlining is also really useful for helping blend in the little paper add-ons. That way you can kind of create outlines along them so it looks like it's all one piece. And then the very last step, which is one of my favorites, is to take a white water activated paint and highlight all across the design. This is super important in the eyes, along the edges, just ways to bring attention to different parts of the paint. And then that is it for bringing Faye Pop to life. We really hope you enjoyed this Makeup Illusion paint. As always, please be sure to subscribe to the Best Fiends YouTube channel and please let us know in the comments how you enjoyed this video and what other Best Fiends characters you would like to see brought to life. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.